Hello, my lovely lilies. And we have something very special for you tonight. It is a true story of a man's unsolved death and the strange note he left behind that is still baffling people today. So close the blinds, dim the lights, cuddle under your favorite blanket, and let's begin. Many interesting unsolved deaths stand out more than others, but the Gunther Stahl death mystery remains one of the most talked about cases in German history. In 1984, Stahl, a paranoid man, shouted at his wife, Now, I understand. He jotted down a note and left his home. That would be the last time Stahl's wife saw him alive. Later that night, Stahl was discovered by some truck drivers barely alive in a wrecked car. But his injuries weren't from the car accident. Was Gunther Stahl murdered? What was written in Gunther Stahl's mysterious note? The unsolved death of Gunther Stahl continues to perplex and boggle minds. The details of Gunther Stahl's case is definitely strange, and you can decide for yourself what could have happened to the man on that faithful night. He thought someone was out to get him. Stahl, 34, suffered from paranoia. It was reported he frequently told his wife they were out to get him. Why his wife never asked Stahl who exactly they were is unclear. It's never been revealed who Stahl was referring to. It is known Stahl believed whoever was out to get him had bad intentions. The Mysterious Note Gunther Stahl Left Behind The note Stahl wrote before leaving his house that day simply read Y-O-G apostrophe T-Z-E all in uppercase letters, which he had also crossed out. It is not known whether the third letter in the note is a G or a six. The word Yogzi has no known meaning in any language. There is much speculation as to what Stahl was trying to articulate with his note. One of the more common theories is that it is a license plate number of a vehicle that ran him over later that night. <laughs> It seems improbable Stahl could have known the license plate number to a vehicle before the accident took place, but some argue that Stahl had a premonition of his impending doom before it happened. People also speculate the note reads Y-06-T-Z-E, all in uppercase letters, which is a Romanian radio call sign. He went to a pub and collapsed before disappearing. Once Stahl left his home, he drove to Willendorf, a town approximately 10 minutes away from his home in Anshausen. There, Stahl went to his favorite pub and ordered a beer. But before ever receiving the drink, he mysteriously fell to the floor, knocking himself unconscious. Witnesses at the pub told police he didn't appear to be intoxicated. Stahl eventually regained consciousness and left the bar around 11 p.m. He told a friend he knew he was going to get into an accident. Two hours after leaving the bar, Stahl showed up at a childhood friend's home in Angersalbach. The town of Angersalbach is about six miles from the pub in Willendorf. Because it was so late, his friend did not allow Stahl into her home but they spoke on the patio for a few minutes. Eventually, the woman told Stahl he should go home to his wife. Stahl left the woman's residence, but not before warning her that a horrible accident was going to take place. Two truck drivers found his car crashed into a ditch. At 3 a.m. the next morning, some truck drivers came across a crashed car and decided to pull over and investigate. The truck drivers found Stahl in the passenger seat of the car, bloodied and in bad shape. The car was sitting in a ditch. One of the drivers stayed with Stahl, while the other went to get help. The police were contacted, and an ambulance arrived shortly after. On the ambulance ride to the hospital, Stahl died. Before he died, 
Stahl said there were four other people in his car. Stahl was still conscious when the Good Samaritan stopped to help him. He spoke to them before the ambulance arrived. One of the strange things Stahl told them was there were four other occupants in the car before they arrived. When one of the men asked whether they were friends of his, Stahl insisted they were not. The truck drivers did report seeing a man wearing a bright colored jacket who appeared to be injured leaving the scene upon their arrival. There is no other information given on who the four strangers could have been. Police were never able to locate the strangers. Stahl's autopsy showed he was run over by a car, and it was not his own. Autopsy results revealed Stahl was not killed by the car crash. He was actually run over by a different vehicle at another location. Police believed he was hit by a vehicle and then placed in the passenger seat of his own car. It is unclear whether or not Stahl was in the car when it crashed into the ditch. Police never found the location or the vehicle that hit Stahl, but they did officially state, but they did officially state his death was a criminal act. He was completely naked. When Stahl was discovered in his car, he was completely naked. There are no details regarding his clothes and whether they were in his vehicle or if the police ever discovered them. Police determined Stahl was also naked when he was run over by the car. Did Stahl remove his clothing himself? Or is there a possibility someone else removed his clothing? There has been some speculation that Stahl was drunk and just removed his clothing himself. There are huge lapses of time when Stahl was unaccounted for. Stahl was unaccounted for for several hours during the night of his death. Where was he in between leaving the pub and arriving at his friend's home? What was he doing before being found in his wrecked car? Knowing some of these details would perhaps help solve the case. With so few details on his whereabouts before his death, it's likely the case will remain unsolved. Was it an alien abduction or mental illness? People who claim they were abducted by aliens often say they have no sense of time. They also sometimes say that their clothing is removed. Could Stahl have been abducted by aliens? There are many theories about what may have happened to Stahl and alien abduction is one of them. Another common belief is that Stahl suffered from mental illness. That could explain Stahl's paranoia about people stalking him and wanting to kill him, falling in the bar, his removal of clothing, and even writing his strange note. Or perhaps the shadow people Stahl referred to finally did get to him. It has been over 30 years since Stahl's death, and the case is still no closer to being solved. All right, my lovely lilies, thank you so much for watching the new video. If you can, hit that subscribe and like button, comment below, and tell me your thoughts. Also, don't forget to tap the little notification bell so you're always in the know on this channel. As well, guys, you can always find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and always you can hit me up in my emails. Feel free to send me your stories, whether they're fiction or totally true. I'm always up for some great stories. And oh, by the way, until next time, sweet dreams. <laughs>